Uh, let us get to this. Stocks, they're not cheap because we are near session highs. We're at market highs for many of the indexes. But my next guest says there's still some great money buys out there for every budget. Hennessy Equity and Income Fund Portfolio Manager Mark Duvall is the guy who's going to point some of these out for you. Let's be clear. When you say cheap, you're talking about price to earnings ratio. Let's get to the ones that are first cheap and then we'll get to pricier ones that you still really like. Sure. Okay. In terms of cheap, we have a couple names in the fund that we like in the Hennessy Equity and Income Fund. First would be Dollar Tree, which is trading at about 12 times earnings. Mm -hmm. uh, what we like about it, they're really the best operator in the pure Dollar Tree segment. So everything's a dollar in the stores, a nice treasure hunt atmosphere for consumers. Yeah, you walk in thinking I need to buy two things and you walk and you out with 32 yeah, things. And it, it's a fun experience, <laughs> so people there. like that. Um, <laughs> the stock has been weak recently because they purchased Family Dollar a few years ago. That uh, transaction hasn't worked out great yet. But we think longer term they can fix the Family Dollar stores. Investors today aren't paying much for, mm -hmm. for Dollar Tree to, with the Family Dollar attached, so we think it's a very opportune time to buy. Well, look at it year to date. It's definitely off its highs, so you wouldn't be overpaying. No, it's, it's down significantly, and, we, and I would say we've noticed insiders buying, so three different board members stepping up with their own money, putting money into the stock. Often a good catalyst for us, a good sign of conviction for management. Give us another one. Another one in terms of lower PE that we like and we think have sustainable high return on capital balance sheet strength is Carnival Cruise Lines. Um, so. The moat there is obviously it costs $500 million to a billion to build a ship. It's three large players, so an oligopoly tend to see pricing power, higher margins, higher return on capital. Uh, it's been weak recently, really around oil prices. So oil is around $70 per barrel. That's a big cost to them, so that's been a slight negative. But everything else about the story, bookings are up, pricing is improving, return on capital is improving. I can't imagine what it costs to fill up a ship like that. Yeah, I don't know, but it's, it's a, I'm sure it's a very large number, it's, so it's, it's be, a big yeah. part of their operating expenses is, is oil. So uh, that P.E. is 14, so slightly 14. richer. We're climbing yeah. higher. Now get yeah. to some higher yeah. ones that you still feel are worth it, even yeah. at slightly richer valuations. And I would say the market is at kind of 17 times now, so pretty big discount for both uh, Carnival and Dollar Tree. In terms of other names that we like, you know, we still like BlackRock, which is a little bit more expensive, uh, and Apple, which in terms of a P.E. ratio might be a little bit ex more expensive. but. In the case of Apple, significantly strong balance sheet, over $150 billion in net cash and investments with a lot of that being starting to be returned. I remember when Apple's P.E. was nine, and yeah. it was less than two years ago. Yeah, no, it, it, it has been a fairly cheap stock. I yeah. think people are worried about being long in the tooth with iPhone, how much more innovation is there. We think there is more innovation, and we love the strength of the balance sheet. And the key with the Hennessy Equity and Income Fund is downside protection. So we think with a strong balance sheet married with sustainable return on capital, you get strong. I just do want to say one thing about Apple. Okay. Um, I have a laptop. I gave in. I used to be all Hewlett Packard, but it's a very sticky business model where if you've got the phone, you're, you've got to stick with that. And a huge install base, so that, that's big. But they, I had to send it in for repair less than a year after I got it. They covered everything even stuff that wasn't covered. I had a very good experience, so yeah. the props to those I've people I've had a similar experience with Apple. Um, Berkshire, Berkshire B-Shares, uh, yeah. they're at about 190, what have we got there? What is the, the PE? The PE for Berkshire is probably around 15 times right now, so okay. a little bit richer than the others. I think what we like about that is in terms of the sum of the parts that, that Munger and Buffett have assembled over the years, very strong operating companies, again, with sustainable competitive advantages, extremely strong balance sheet, over $100 billion in cash on the books. So again, downside protection. People should mark their calendars. August 30th, I am going to interview Warren Buffett one-on-one -on -one here in New York, and we'll talk about that. Uh, he, of course, has never split the stock. The uh, A shares are yeah, 300 thousand. grand. They're, yeah. they're, you know, they're certainly in the, in the, uh, the stellar stars up there. Yeah. But uh, do you ever think about life after? Warren Buffett, when he is no longer running the company, does that concern sure. you as a shareholder? It does, and I think that has limited the valuation to some degree. I think Buffett will turn 88 this year. Charlie Munger is 94. Mm -hmm. So there is the risk of passing it on. He, I don't know that anyone can replace Buffett in terms of investment acumen and ability, but they have assembled a great number of operating companies that they own there. So we think the discount intrinsic value is quite strong right yep, now. Yep, lots of cash being made at that company. Absolutely. It is lovely to have you, Mark Duvall. Good ideas Absolutely. all around. We'll put them up on Facebook.com slash Liz Clayman with the P.E. ratios.